Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group L Round 3 match between Dragoo and Benbo Baggins. As you can see we've got Dragoo in blue, Benbo in red because it's actually really hard to tell these teams apart. They're, they're actually, they've both got a lot of black on them. Um, so yeah, Lizard Mirror, very interesting. I can show you the table here. At the start of the round, uh, Nabolo beat Fufole, so Fufole is out completely, and uh, now it becomes very simple. If Benbo draws or wins, he finishes second, and if Dragu wins, he finishes second. There is no need for any, you know, tiebreakers or touchdown scored or anything like that. It's just Benbo needs a win or a draw. Dragu has to play for the outright victory. Um, Dragoo's won the toss, chose to receive. He's got five block and a guard Saurus, 12 players. They've both got 12 players, two rerolls and an apple. And Benbo's gone for six block. Also, Benbo's gone for halfling cheerleaders and AC Milan colors. Whereas uh, Dragoo's gone for skink cheerleaders and into Milan. So there we go, we've got, uh, we've got this. Oh, I can tell you how they qualify. How they qualify. Could have done that. Solid defence. While that's already not happened, it was perfect enough from Benbo. He's British. He qualified through the Season 3 official ladder on PC. And Dragu is Belgian and qualified through the CPC APM Road to the World Championship. There you go. And this is a thrilling Lizard Man mirror. Oh wow, that's an instant cast. Benbo does not apple it because it was not a badly hurt. He doesn't want to risk the apple not working on that serious injury. That's the I think that happened to him in the last game. It's the worst one, isn't it? Because like you really want to apple it. Um, but with it not working guaranteed, it's risky. Oh my god, he just steams in. Steams in with a crocs. I might have gone with a block blitz. You know, because he's blockless, but, um... Yeah. Honestly, so I don't know before organised leagues. Yeah, I don't do any... I, what I might do is I might organise a league of my own, but, um... Dimmy told me not to talk about it to anybody, so... I can't talk about it. But for now... Yeah, Rebel, UKBBL... Uh, I can't recommend UKBBL. Or Coca-Cola, maybe, uh, yeah, all those kind of things. Aero BB. So just sends him around. He's got he's gone for the full Venger bus here, hasn't he? Keeping the four skinks protected. And Bull goes for a hit into another hit. Abandons the air. Uh, Croxigore Blitz Strat. Keeps his skink screened. Apart from this one, it gets melted. <laughs> nope, just stunned. Uh, if you've got the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, that has links for like recruitment links. Somebody could somebody could do that. Yeah. Well, that's a disappointing turn for Ben Bow here, isn't it? Three bats on this lad doesn't do anything and also gets spanked by the crocs next turn. Goes for the goes for the skink. He's been on rebel, N not rebel Reddit. He knows what's up. I just got distracted by that link being rebel. <laughs> Again, blitz into another block. It's the pal. Oh, Crocs go stupid. 
did not need to activate him. And yeah, now he's got to start worrying about his skinks as he's realizing that Dragu is really, really, really serious about targeting skinks. <laughs> Good Steve. Yeah, it's not it's not perfect. I just I just did it good enough and then uh, haven't revisited it. But at least they've got something, haven't they? At least they've got something. Ooh, leaves a skink out there. But of course and another skink. Wow. Instant blitz! <laughs> 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 Instant blitz hit the skinks. Uh, doesn't get the crocs. And this is a big commitment, right? This is actually pretty good from Dragoo. It made it like pretty hard to get anything to react except the skinks. And now um He's got four skinks versus three swords and one skink, which is obviously really good for Dragu. So yeah, that was you know he did he did the classic what Dimmy says, right? Pretend to play Blood Bowl for six turns and then go in. Uh, he did it for five instead of six, but that was that was good. There was somehow subtle positioning that managed him to get everything clear on the same turn. I didn't really understand it but yeah well a well worked drive yeah enough ladders good but yeah not really not a league not an organized league per se but it is good if you want like tabletop tournament practice it's certainly better than just Blood Bowl 3 ladder, open ladder. Right, well he gets the 1D, doesn't re-roll it. So you've got, you've got to make a big call, haven't you? If you're going to re-roll that 1D, or whether you're going to rely on your one turn. Um, I don't know how good the one turn is. To be honest. Also, for the Slayer, you should join my Discord if you're not already in. And uh, that's number one thing to do. That goes for everybody. There we go. Best Discord in the world. Oh, rolled a one in nine, re-rolled it into double pals. And now he's in trouble here, he could score early, but it's very risky to score early, isn't it? So I guess he's not going to. Oh, he gets a Kaz though. And App rolls that, because it's badly hurt. So Benbo getting a bit. A bit wrecked by the dice, but Let me go for one D here. Oh, he's going for the two D. Oh wow, he's just doing a million skink dodges. Gets the two D, re-rolls this, only gets a push. Disgusting. That's sad. That was a good effort, wasn't it? Loads of skink dodges. Got the 2D, but um, didn't get the dice. Uh, Dragoo certainly had the look so far. 
glorious. But I like the no, way I won't the give so. in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's nearly four. <laughs> um, four. The Slayer, thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, there you go. So, one, only one reroll used by Bendo, so he does have a chance at the one turn here. And you'd have a chance with no rerolls left. But with one reroll, left, you know, you've got to think he's got a bit of a chance. And do you know what I like here? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you this, look. Dragoo, he's given his garter a bloody Triceratops helmet. So he can easily tell who he is. That's good, isn't it? That's a great little bit of uh, using the things. So, the player here is to blitz this guy. Oh, solid defense. The player is going to blitz this guy, Glorious. chain him through, no, I won't give and then block him until to them. I'm victorious. And I will and defend. I, do I, will I defend. guess the dodges don't really matter so much to the anyway with skinks. Four, Randy Tanner, absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 31 months. S over seven and a half beaver pregnancies. Four, nearly eight beaver pregnancies is the easier way of saying it. <laughs> oh, well, that was a brutal P. Diddy. Oh, I can't say P. Diddy anymore. <laughs> First of all, it's solid defense and not perfect defense, but yeah, it turns out. <laughs> All this time, we thought perfect defense was the worst P. Diddy. We were very wrong. <laughs> it does the uphill and gets the push? Oh, no, it's... it's, it's no, no, it's... Uh, he obviously couldn't choose to get power. And removed. Yeah. Errata, errata. <laughs> errata. He could fill these two in with... Wait, could he still do it? He could, um... It doesn't look easy, does it? He needs three squares filled. And he's got two skinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush, handoff. <laughs> <laughs> these two both go in then he blocks him pushes him pushes him to there and then he blocks with that one wait no no because he's there no yeah but then he's got to block the crocs yeah who's got a guard him next to him but he could have done it he could have done it but i mean it was it was ludicrous ludicrously bad odds so it's completely reasonable to give up on the one turn but it, it was technically possible. But, um, <laughs> you don't need to apologise to help me and Christopher B. But it is generally better to, you know. You know P diddy P D I I D Y P diddy P diddy P D I I D Y P diddy P diddy. Oh dear. Well, thanks for the bit, Steve. <laughs> if not the message, um, it's it's S diddy now, right? It's solid defense. It's solid defense. Oh dear. Oh, no help, no, no help, no, no, no. <laughs> no help. Be sensible now, help. Be sensible, help. You're, you now have to be a sensible admin, or... You know. I don't know if anything country's come out at all. But, uh, I, you know, I'm just trying to be less controversial. Uh, 
in case you haven't noticed. I, I won't be able to go full, you know, everything is awesome mode like some people do, but um, I'm at least trying to be more sensible. <laughs> That's the spirit, Father Slayer. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> he could double rush like this, this is kind of stupid but he could double rush to tuck in back behind there which is really good right like because this is the obvious move right but double rushing to tuck in would have been really quite nice wouldn't it but obviously you've got to swarm with the skinks as well whatever happens Oh, he just does the dodge in and the dodge through and the pick up in the tackle zone. Oh my goodness. He just did an uphill? Oh, to get three dice on the ball, I guess. Wow. I feel like just getting two is fine. But it wasn't, because it needed all three and block to get him down. And he caught the scatter. Brilliant play by Benbo. Flip me. Mind, he did have to start with an uphill block, but... Boy, how did he get rewarded, didn't he? Flip me. Amazing stuff. Crocs block, let's go. Yeah, move him over and then touch the other. Wow. That was a brave move, but it played off, didn't it? It paid off brilliant. Paid off great, that uphill. Yeah, no damage. And he's still down a Saurus, right? Uh, Benbo, so... He's still in a bit of a pickle. But the draw is good for him. He, he, he did, you know, he conceded on defense, but a draw is good. Oh, the Crocs has just done itself in. We've got a lovely. Like, this is one of the things, right? You know, like Dimmy's a great believer in not going forward with lizards, but like, you know, you're against other lizards. So first of all, your ability to mess around isn't as good as it as it normally is. So I'd be pretty tempted to blitz this guy and then move through this turn. I mean, I, I know I would. I, well, I blitz with this guy, right? Because he's further away. You don't, you don't do a rush. What about this guy? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this one. This guy does it. Three, four, five, six square punches him. And then if you get the power, it's incredible. So I think that was the play. I think that was the play for Ben, though. But he's not going for it. Got a three dice of skink instead. I need all three dice <laughs> and block. Unbelievable. Mm. Dragoo's getting after the skinks better than Ben Boys, has to be said. <laughs> Like I say that, like he has just three dice one each turn, but you know, apart from, apart from that, he has. They're just trading three dice blitzes on them, aren't they? Save him. Three D. Not getting any damage. And now he hasn't got any penetration either. I really think he probably should have tried to go through last turn. Now, now he's got you know a big full screen here. 
he's got to try and lean into this side. Try and get something going. I mean, the guard's kind of good in the mirror, right? Because he's just getting to stick the guard in and, like, three dice of skink or stick the guard in and two dice of saurus. Or... Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> the way the claws come up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Infinite Pink. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Glorious. Oh, it's funny that we've had some amazing Lizardman mirrors in this tournament, believe it or not. And yet this is much more like a Lizardman mirror. <laughs> It's just a big mess of lizards punching things and nothing really happening. Oh wow, it's finally getting this stink out by just making a billion dodges, but it doesn't get it safe. But yeah, Benbo just doesn't have a breakthrough now, right? I think he should have gone that turn. Now he's going to go down the extreme flank. On turn 14, this is a little bit late. But... Oh, he's still just... Oh, no, I think you had to move down here, right? I think you, you, move, you move the whole cage to here, right? Move the whole cage to here. And tag this guy, right? Something like that. Like, move his eye cage here, something. I don't know. I think you've got to push harder than this. Rather than trying to stay here. Now the Crocs is going to go in. And you've got to clear the Crocs off your ball. Which otherwise you wouldn't have been able to reach. And you've got kind of scoring threats, but you're not elves. It's not that easy to get the ball to them. So he could blitz this. I think the idea was not to blitz the crocs, right? Because it's turn 15. It's turn 15. Let's go back to the start. I think the play is skink into here. Saurus into here, two dice the crocs. Oh, he's tagged! Errata, errata. Errata. Disregard. <laughs> Didn't see that that block Saurus was tagged. So now he has to... Run all the way around, like he's got to run so far here. Or he's got to dodge through the middle, or 1D through the middle. Mm, yeah, and yeah, he does the second rush. I mean, pretty unlucky that he, you know, he used the reroll and still fail. Like, two ones out of three rolls is definitely unlucky, but. He did leave it a bit late, didn't he? Just didn't get any penetration at all in his drive. Left it too late. And that could mean the end of the road for Benbo Baggins. Because this is his only scoring threat and it's going to get fouled. And he's pushed out a range. That's dead. And this, this being movement 7 kills him. 
If it was a normal skink, you'd be in range. Badly hurt is dead, of course, because uh, it's res. Dead? That is really dead. <laughs> oh my god, all the gamma he cast were in the like, last two turns. <laughs> There's like infinite cars in the last two turns. Oh my goodness. Brutal. <laughs> and yeah, like making these blocks is fine, right? It's not. It's understandable, I guess. And there you go. Dragu wins 1-0. And I can show you more or less the updated table. Unfortunately, you can see from that yellow, Nabolo's game is not registered, but he did win. So he's on 9 points. Fufale is on 1. And Dragu and Benbo. Um, Dragu gets him 4 points to 3. Now he came... He was he was on one, and then those three points catapults him over Benbo. So there you go. Congratulations, Dragu. Commiserations, Benbo Baggins. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.